Hi everyone, in this one quick question, I had a student ask me, you know what's the difference between a warm septic shock and a cold septic shock? Great question, we're gonna talk about it right now. Now, septic shock is a true medical emergency. Uh, patients die from this every year. We can have warm septic shock versus cold septic shock. The difference literally is the temperature of the patient. When you feel them, are they kind of reddish and warm? Warm septic shock. Are they cold, cool, clammy to the touch? A cold septic shock. Now, a warm septic shock is caused because there is profound vasodilation in the periphery. So you got these big fat vessels carrying warm blood and they feel warm on the outside. To maintain perfusion, the heart is gonna have a very high cardiac output to maintain perfusion. And this is what we mostly see in adults. You're mostly gonna see warm septic shock. So, warm, peripheral vasodilation, very high cardiac output. Now, cold septic shock, and we'll see this more in the pediatric population, but the cold septic shock is caused by profound peripheral vasoconstriction. And we'll see this more in pediatrics because to compensate, the pediatric child, beyond increasing their heart rate, has a hard time getting more of a squeeze out of that heart to increase their cardiac output. So beyond tachycardia, the younger they get, the harder it is to get more squeeze out of that heart. So we're gonna see cold uh, septic shock presentations uh, sometimes in the pediatric population. 